Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how I use my Pro Echo rulers. This is the Pro Echo 14, kind of in the middle of this quilt. Um, I'm using this great thread, don't know if you can see it, it's called Silk Sparkle by YLI. And it's got just a tiny, tiny, almost like it's like um, a metallic-y kind of look to it, yet it quilts up beautifully. So um, let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm um, using this point here as kind of a reference point um, to work off of. So I'm going to go from this point, although I'm not stitching through my gray block here, and I'm going to go to the middle over here. So I line up and I make sure I'm about a quarter of an inch away and I kind of judge it with my hopping foot. So if I were in the center there, and then I rotate my ruler okay to over here now i am using this inside curve okay because when i echo i'm going to be echoing on the left hand side of this and so i'm going to use this side when i do that if my curve was going in the opposite direction like this, okay, I could stitch on this side, and if my echo were going to be then on the left hand side again, then I could line that stitch line up with the inside and get it, okay, I hope that makes sense. So, I'll kind of show you what I mean. So, I'm lining up my ruler, I want to be and I'm pulling it down to that location, and I would like to start the stitching. Pull it on up. I'm going to bury my thread, so I'm not going to worry about doing any tacking stitches. Get a good hold of that so it doesn't slip. And the thread. Now I'm going to come down the other side. I might be stitching off and you can't see it. So let's give it a little try here. Let me advance just a little bit. I have my needle down so I can advance the quilt. And it'll just follow. So on this side, again, I'm using that same point as a reference, okay, but I'm going to stitch all the way to that point on this side, just the way the okay. now. I'm going to stop and break my thread and I'll end up burying it and I'll tell you why. I could travel in the ditch over the quarter of an inch and then start my echo. I don't like the way you can see the thread even a little bit in the ditch because it's not the same color thread as my backing fabric. So we'll get those later. Now, what I was saying before about lining up to get your perfect quarter inch echo, I can now take this side of my ruler. It will line up perfectly with this stitched line. And then I just quilt along that to get my perfect quarter inch echo. One of the things with these rulers and my hopping foot is a little bit off and I know which side it's off. Um, your needle has to be in the very center of your hopping foot. So most people know if it's a little bit off on one side and you can compensate for it. But it does um, help tremendously when you are in the center. So we're going to the way.
And since every quilt, except an all over design for me, has echoing in it, that is one of the reasons why I decided to work on getting these rulers, okay? So like with rulers, you kind of have to do a little bit of gymnastics, okay, to get things lined up and all that. And this is why I like to stop with my ruler, with my needle down, because then I can kind of shift things. As I come into this point, I'm eyeballing, and when my edge of my hopping foot kind of hits this stitch line, I know I need to stop. And I'll swing this around and get this one lined up. There you have the quarter inch echo. Hopefully you can see that. Let's see if I can get it in. Okay. So 